This isn't America's B-2. This is Iran's Saege, the lightning bird. Stealthy, fast, and dangerous, built for precision and secrecy. A combat recon drone that can carry four guided bombs inside. When it flies, even radar barely whispers its presence. Its story began when Iran captured a US RQ-170 Sentinel. Engineers reverse-engineered it, and from that, Saege was born. Designed with creativity, discipline, and pure local innovation. When unveiled, everyone realized Iran had entered a new era. Its body is made from lightweight composite stealth materials. The angled flying wing design hides it from radar detection. At first glance, it looks alien, but beautifully aerodynamic. Every curve and surface serves a stealth purpose precisely. Its small turbojet engine is fully indigenous yet powerful. Saege can reach speeds around 350 km per hour steadily. It climbs up to 30,000 feet, far above ground defenses. From there, it scouts and strikes with surgical accuracy. Each mission lasts nearly five hours in real combat mode. Its operational range stretches to about 500 kilometers. Guidance systems let it hit exact coordinates with precision. It observes, decides, and strikes all within seconds. Saege carries four Sadid smart bombs inside its fuselage. These laser and electro-optically guided weapons hit with accuracy. Each bomb selects its own target through onboard targeting optics. All remain hidden in internal bays to preserve full stealth. Launch happens from a truck-mounted rail system, no runway. The rail accelerates the drone forward until the jet ignites. Landing uses skid gear and a small parachute for braking. It can deploy from desert roads or flat ground with ease. Sayage isn't only for war, it's a sharp-eyed scout as well. With day-night EO-IR cameras, it sees miles across the terrain. Its encrypted link streams live images to ground commanders. At any moment, it can switch from watching to attacking. Its combat debut came in Syria against ISIS positions directly. Multiple units bombed terrorist bases in coordinated formation. Footage of those strikes aired on Iranian television proudly. It marked Iran's entry into true stealth drone warfare. In another event, one infiltrated Israeli airspace undetected. Until it was downed, Israel didn't know where it came from. Photos of its wreckage shocked observers around the world. Sayage had proven stealth isn't just a Western advantage. Later, during the al bukamal strike, it flew beside missiles. Ballistic rockets hit first, Sayage's finished the remaining targets. Their precision bomb releases destroyed ISIS command centers. It showed drones could act as strike partners, not just scouts. Now, Sayage serves fully within Iran's IRGC drone divisions. Operators are trained for high-speed, low-signal remote control. Every exercise tests speed, silence, and pinpoint strike accuracy. It usually performs the final blow in multi-phase operations. Visually, it resembles America's B-2, but on a smaller scale. Both are flying wings, but missions and ranges differ greatly. The B-2 is global. Saege is tactical and regional by design. Yet the shared idea is the same, remain unseen and precise. Stealth means the enemy never knows what hit them silently. That's why Saege became vital for preemptive defense roles. When threats rise, these drones are already in the skies waiting. Their quick strike power forms a strong regional deterrent. Newer versions now include improved sensors and longer endurance. Engineers are adding swarm flight control and AI navigation. Several Saege's can analyze a target cooperatively mid-mission. That marks Iran's step into 21st century drone warfare.
Reports suggest dozens have been produced so far reliably. Production remains limited due to its complex jet components. Some parts are imported, but most are now domestically built. Ongoing jet engine programs aim for full local independence. Together with the Shahed 129 and Shahed 136 drones, it completes a triad. The 129 patrols for long hours, the 136 swarms for saturation. Saege attacks with precision and safely returns afterward. Their mix gives Iran flexible aerial power across all missions. But technology is just a tool, not the ultimate goal at all. Its value depends on responsibility and strategic restraint. Uncontrolled warfare tech can threaten everyone equally. Wisdom in use matters more than possession itself. For many Iranians, Sayage symbolizes independence and progress. Media celebrated it with pride, calling it a national achievement. Analysts, however, suggest studying it with scientific realism. True strength is knowledge combined with disciplined ethics. Developing its small turbojet was among the hardest challenges. Engineers built it under sanctions with limited foreign help. Composite materials and digital control systems are now native. It represents years of persistence and technical evolution. Sayage isn't merely a drone, it's a flying classroom in itself. It proved that reverse engineering can spark innovation genuinely. From capturing a foe's tech to creating an indigenous marvel, it tells a story of determination and technical pride. Future versions may be larger, faster, with twin engines possibly. Design plans mention a 1,000-kilometer range extended variant. Autonomous control and AI targeting are being tested next. Sayage is the first milestone towards a smarter air fleet. In the end, Sayage stands as proof of Iran's capabilities. Not equal to global superpowers, but regionally formidable indeed. Four smart bombs, a local jet and radar evading stealth. It's Iran's own B-2, smaller but every bit as bold.